G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I have a pretty special video. Myself and the young King Cookson went to the Brownlow for AFL Kids. The full video of every interview is on the AFL Kids Instagram TV. I'll have a link for it down below. You can go and watch every video. My vid today is a bit of a behind the scenes uh, look of us at the Brownlow, as well as a couple of the interviews I've chucked in there as well. Going down to, is that on the Oh, what a man. Oh, what a fuss. Just down to Peter Jackson's, just getting uh, our kit for the Brownlow. That's what I'm wearing to the Brownlow. Pull up to the Brownlow way. <laughs> Biggie. <laughs> just, uh, it's, it's not as fashionable as all the players getting their tailor made suits. We're just in Target, Geelong. <laughs> Chucking on some $30 slacks. I'm wearing my dad's oversized suit. <laughs> I tell you, I'm pulling up worse dress. <laughs> it's my title. What were you saying? You're going to dress like? Like I'm coming straight out of that 2003 NBA draft. <laughs> In the oversized suit. The oversized suit. Oh, Kyron, Rick, that's my name. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going for. I'm going for some fashions on the field. But on a budget. Yeah, you look sexy. Weapons at the ready. On our way to the brown low. We're going to the brown low. Not really, we're just standing out the front talking to players, but that still counts. Dane Rampy's behind us. Dane Rampy. Get him filming. Dane Rampy's on the train, we reckon. I don't know if I can. Maybe if he walks, maybe if he walks past, I'll get Dane Rampy because he's on the train with us. You're looking like your bodyguard, right? Really going to the, down to the red carpet, the bodyguard mate. mode. Excuse me, no photos with uh, my client, Cade. Oh, Excuse me. Scumbag McGee. <laughs> no photos with Cade. Um, who, I'll knock your buddy head off. Who are you most excited to talk to? Uh, the lady that we're here with, Vanessa. She is nice. Jess Hosking, be good. Jess Hosking, cannot wait to see Jess Hosking. Um, Fife or something? I don't know. Yeah. It'd be a handy piece. Uh, I sort of know it. <laughs> Prima. Yeah. Don't vlog mode. We're here nice and early, mate. Just preparing. We're definitely, down. me and me and Caden definitely came up with all of this. No help from anyone. It wasn't Vanessa. It's definitely no it help certainly from anyone. Wasn't it was all me. It was um, genius. And we've done really well. I'm yeah. a smart guy. Do you feel guy. prepared? feel exceptionally prepared. Do you Kate? feel rested and ready? Rested and ready. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? I don't know. I just can't wait to get little Charlie around with it. <laughs> Let's go. It's smooth for the boys. Let's go. <laughs> you want me to take this off all right, we're just about to do some interviews with the interview man himself. We've got Mitchie Robertson. How are you, mate? Good day, so How are you going? Yeah, we're, we're travelling really well. Uh, we got some of the more professional people up the front. That's good, isn't it? Mate, we're, we're front and centre. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how close we are. So I'm going to be getting a couple of superstars here tonight. We're going to be talking to them about AFL kids and AFL life in general. Um, and then we'll see how we go. There's a bit of a... Watch out for the step. We might get a few on there, I reckon. Um, right there, look at that. Who, who's the big fish that you want to chat to? Eddie Betts. I'm asking the hard questions. Where are you going, mate? Go back to the Blues or not? Oh, surely get, get him up to the Lions. And I know who won Mark of the Year too. <laughs> yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you off there. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I got out, but I got it. Showtime cooks in. Not long now. Should be doing fun, not that. Here they come. <laughs> Spark up, brother. Ah. Here they come. <laughs> Massive D's fan here, and I'm with one of the stars from the footy club. We're with Clayton Oliver. How are you, mate? Yeah, very good. Just land, got back from London this morning, so a bit tired. But A little bit of jet lag? Uh, I just slept all day, so I'm feeling pretty good. How was the trip? I saw you with uh, Salem and a couple of the other boys. How was it? Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, me, uh, Tracker and Sales were over there, and then a few other boys um, in Barca. And, yeah, it was just good to get away and yeah, freshen up. Did you get to see any of the soccer over there? Because I know you're a massive soccer fan. Yeah, I watched about four or five games of Premier League in a Champions League game too, so good week. Heard you're a big big FIFA man. Yeah, huge, huge yeah. smash. What's your go-to team? Uh, I go to Liverpool with the 4-3-3 three, three formation. Yeah, yeah, a bit of, a bit of that Mo Salah pace yeah. up front. I reckon I'd have you in with our Spain international team. A bit of ticky-tacker. Yeah, yeah. You, no, you got no pace up there. No, yeah. It's There's no I'm, pace. I'm out of the ball control. Just ticky-tacker. You can't get past Virgil. He's nah. too good. <laughs> Cookson plays is just a lockdown game. Yeah, and I just can't... Lockdown. I just flick it around, flick it around, just... Dissect. Oh, your possession. Yeah, just dice. Uh, I can't do that. I'm counter attack. Yeah. I'm about 15%, 25%. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Up. There's been some broken controllers before when uh, there's minutes to go and Cook just starts passing it around the back line. Get that. Yeah, you play, you play to win. You don't, you don't play to lose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Clay. Thanks for joining us, mate. Caden from AFL Kids. Don't worry, mate. I watch your, uh, I watch your YouTube videos. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm with Dugowie and, and, um, and Steve. You know when, you when I'm at night and I can't sleep, I'm just looking oh. at YouTube. I, I watch, you, I watch your YouTube videos. So we're here, we're here with fan Adam Trelaw. How are you, Adam? I'm going really well, mate. 
Um, so uh, we got a couple of uh, who's most likely to from the club. Okay. So from the pies, who's most likely to laugh at their own jokes? Uh, <laughs> Scott Pendlebury. Pendles. 100%. Scott Pendles. Pendlebury. Uh, who's most likely to fall asleep in public? Oh, anywhere between Geordie, Bruzzy, Croc. <laughs> yeah, probably one of those three. I had another question for you. Um, around the traps of our channels and stuff, Cal Brown is a bit of an icon. Uh, what's he like around the club? Good clubman? Good teammate? Cal Brown? Yes, beauty. Cal absolute Cal? beauty. Always smiling, always laughing. Um, he likes tracking a joke and he laughs at his own jokes too, but um, he's a beauty. Tournaments, we have a FIFA and 2K and I'm the best 2K player. But I reckon I might have your chop if I'm honest. No, mate. No, I spend... If I'm not uh, playing footy, what am I doing, babe? Playing 2K? 2K. Me, me, with, me with my Miami Heat. Oh, Justice wins like me, crazy. Me, <laughs> me, me with my old school OKC with KD, James Harden, Russell Westbrook. Unstoppable, yeah, mate. Thanks for your time, Adam. Cheers. All right, Cookson. Yeah, absolute whirlwind experience. That was uh, that was fast footy. Yeah, some good blokes. Uh, who was best on? Um, probably Clayton Oliver. That's... He's like, that's, that's big, that's big on my a, channel. I'm a Clayton Oliver fan, I'll say that. Big. That is amazing. Really cool dude, right? We had some good FIFA chat. Really good dude. Well, we got to zip off to the stream. Absolutely, let's go have fun with our little boy Roger. That was actually unbelievable. It was so fast paced. Um, all the players were so kind and um, yeah, I had an absolute blast <laughs> being a journo for a day down at the Brownlow. Another thing that we did last week was we went to the AFL Grand Final Parade. Cooks in. What, what car are we in? What car are we in? Wait, 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 I want to look for the gram, ready? The people are waiting for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big turnout for the meet and great cook. They're all in the UK. This was also with AFL Kids and it's on their Instagram TV. Um, so another link down below if you want to watch the full thing. But um, this is some of the questions that myself and Cooko were lucky enough to uh, to ask some of the players. Here with Josh Caddy, Richmond superstar. Now, Josh, if one of your teammates could perform at halftime, who is most likely to? Well, he's not playing tomorrow, so there's a chance, and that would be Sydney Stack. Oh, to sing? Yeah, to sing. Oh. Probably Jaden Short, I reckon the bloke I live with, he, he's always singing around the house and around the club, so it'd be him, I reckon. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be any good. Good vocals? Oh, no. Nah, <laughs> not really. Uh, what is your pre-game meal? Uh, I like a bit of lasagna, not before a game. The lasagna, I love yeah. it. Yeah, g game day always, the uh, crumpets with honey. Love That's a crumpet. Cool. Who is most likely to have their Norm Smith speech already ready to go? Ooh, well, Norm Smith. Uh, Josh Kelly. Yeah, me. Josh Kelly. Are you ready? Are you love and love? He actually was practicing last night. Practicing last night? <laughs> yeah, can't confirm. Here with Sammy Walsh, the rising star, cult superstar. Now, Sammy, who is your tip for tomorrow? Uh, my tip, I reckon the Giants are going to get up if they start well. Um, obviously, we played them this year, beat us by 100 points, so I think they've got a couple of stars. If you could pick any artist in the world to perform at half time, who would you pick? Ooh. Can we Can we bring him back? Bring, 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 bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, I'd, I'd love a bit of Queen. Bring, bring Freddie back. <laughs> oh, no. Michael Jackson for me. Bring it back. That really is bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Any artists? Um, probably Alesso, the DJ. Alesso? Some tunes just to pump everyone up. Yeah, it'd be good. Good, good, good little set by him with everyone going. And uh, who is your pre game pump up go to tune? I like 50 Cent. 50 Cent, yeah. bit of hip hop, I rate it. Aaron, who's your tip for tomorrow? I'm tipping the Tigers by 13 points, and Dusty Martin is going to have another best time. Now, Shane, if you had one player to bring back, retired player, who would you bring back for tomorrow's game? Uh, oh, on the spot here, on the spot here. I'll probably be, bring back Jay King. Jay oh, King, the push up! up. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's, he was always handy in the trenches and he um, yeah, he was a bully before the first siren of the game. I rate that big, to be honest. Yeah, there you go. Uh, what's the meal you're going to eat before the grand final tomorrow? Oh, lasagna. Lots of lasagna and white bread rolls. What yeah, so, I'm lasagna, always haven't missed you. That's a common one. It's a common one. Is that a is that a giant staple lasagna or now you're just all doing your own thing? Well, I think it's just the way they make it. Just yeah. get it at the pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, fellas, out of you three blokes, who is most likely to fall asleep during a team meeting? <laughs> no. Oh, no, him early, you now. Yeah, you now. You can the best sleeper I've ever met. 
Yeah, I won't. I won't argue about that. Oh, Zachy Williams, that's confirmed. I'll put me up for that. I'll put me up Definitely me. Confirmed, Zachy Williams. Hopefully he doesn't fall asleep on the field. That's only because Lockie's a chance not to rock up. If you had to pick one teammate that is most likely to make a game-winning smother, other than yourself, who would it be? Sam Taylor, every day of the week. He's my favourite player on the Giants list. I haven't taught him everything he knows, but I've taught him a little bit and the smother might be it. Phil, do you have any pre-game superstitions? No pre-game superstitions, just make sure I have some strawberry jam on toast before we play. Now Josh, if you could bring back one former player to come and play with you this weekend, who would it be? Uh, Stevie J always loves his Stevie occasion. J. I can imagine him you know, looping around on his right foot and snapping a few goals from the pocket, so he would be a bit of fun. Here with Tom Lynch, Lynchy. What is your go-to pre-game song? Pre-game song. Pre-game song. Uh, what have Dusty's whacked on? <laughs> we got Jeremy Cameron here, Giants forward superstar. Now, Jeremy, did you have any favourite memories as a kid playing footy? Uh, my best memories were probably Auskick, to be honest. When I first picked up a footy, they were pretty good when I was six years old. Love it. Taught you how to win Coleman's. <laughs> yeah, well, they come a bit later, but yeah, always love kicking goals, so no one likes spoiling and, and defending. Lovely, and you're pretty good at it, so fair play. <laughs> Cal, uh, if it came down to the final kick, who from the Giants would you want to have the shot on goal? Oh, I can't go past Jeremy Cameron, I reckon he's not missing. Pretty safe answer as well. Cheers, mate. For the outro of this video, I'm going to play some of the clips of me meeting some of the people who came down to my meet and greet last week at the MCG. Before we get into that, I just want to say thanks for watching another video, guys. I appreciate all the support that I've had over the last couple of weeks. Um, AFL Evolution, the career mode, is coming soon with me and Cooks in episode two, just whipping that up now. So that'll be here before the end of the week. And uh, I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.